What if I, um, I took something like uh, a quid coin, okay, and I, and I bury it in the sand. It's buried, you have no idea where it is, and I ask you to find it. How long would that take you? <laughs> What's years, right? I mean, millions of years, if the desert were big enough. Sure. What if I melted the sand? Took all the sand in the desert and melted it. Glass. The whole desert becomes one big sheet of glass. So now finding the coin is easy, right? You just you see it floating there. Change the sand to glass and finding the coin is trivial. In what way? Come on, with accelerated key search and decryption, the entire world is at your fingertips. There's literally nothing you couldn't see. Until they encode things differently or develop a different architecture for coming at us. But you still have how many months or years of absolute unguarded access to anything you'd want? Financial information, technical information, military data, coded national secrets? It's the equivalent of... Billions of... No, quickly in my head, I'd have to say trillions of dollars worth of information. Gentlemen. I'm not sure a value can really be put on that level of information. True, but we can roughly quantify things here, right? I mean, let's think. China's GDP is around 3.2 trillion US dollars. Any crypto system that uses P-space algorithms, which is essentially their entire infrastructure, it could easily be accessed. Well, that may work for a particular aspect of a network, say a financial institution's records, but other systems use a different crypto algorithm. Come on. You can't crack it because it's a different problem. That's utterly ridiculous. We're not even talking cutting edge theory here. Gary Johnson, guys in the 70s, showed that fundamentally all these complex mathematical problems, knapsack, sat, whatever, they're all the same problem. Solve one, solve all. That's what this is. That's what NP complete means. Modern cryptography is based on the, I guess now outdated reality that some problems are just too computationally expensive to brute force, right? They just take too long to try every answer. So uh, introduce the non-deterministic processor and problems that once took millions of years to solve, solved in minutes. I appreciate the lecture. And I do understand the fundamentals, but my guy's theoretical research points to the fact that separate networks, separate anything, require separate grids with distinct computational problems. Oh, your guys? Yes, Rand. It all boils down to the non-deterministic oracle. With it, with the processor, all problems in P and NP space can be computed in reasonable time. Key searches, factoring, discrete logs. You can break any crypto system in the world if you have the will and, I guess, the software program to do so. Not even a Chinese hybrid crypto system could prevent or even acknowledge an attack. Nope. Anyways, in my opinion, this works more as a weapon, I guess, by subtraction or destruction, much in the same way as a conventional weapon, as opposed to, say, some sort of, I don't know, intergovernmental larceny. Meaning? Meaning that it's impractical to embezzle Chinese money to, say, fund a federal education bill, okay? If you, if you want more money, just print more. And at this level, it'll have little effect on their economy. And if you're somehow discovered, you've essentially declared war on a superpower, and all you have to show for it are a few cleaner schools. Well, it could be worse. Really, the only way I see it would be to systematically attack the asset. Basically, cripple it, take it out. I have to say, it's much easier to discuss application when it's contextualized like this. So, say you're about to launch a cyber attack on China. What would logically be your first target? Power plants. Why would you do that? Kill the power, stifle the defensive grid, the country be most vulnerable. Yeah, but if you cut the power, then nothing's connected. How can you hack a network that's not online? No, I think if you want to use this as a weapon, first you crush their entire communication system. Basically, act as the country's brain. You can receive and transmit anything you like. Mass hysteria, paranoia, almost like a water-based toxin. You could tear the country apart. This is the future of the world. This is now. This is bigger than your secrets. As an American, I don't know how anyone could say that. As a mathematician, it's my conscience to say that. Why don't you break it down for me a little slower so I can understand? Hardy called mathematics the language of the gods because it, uh, it unlocks and categorizes things that the mind can't possibly understand. I, I don't expect you to at this point, but there are certain foundational proofs, okay, that lead to more powerful conclusions. To lock this away so you can spy on somebody is criminal. Oh, that is so ignorant and condescending it makes me want to spit. This was the most important unsolved problem in computer science. To think you were the only mathematicians in the world focusing your efforts on this is naive. You were pawns automatons. We funded you. We brought you together. You were denied nothing. Thought was fostered and ultimately a solution was achieved. You were a piece of the puzzle. A cog. Separately, you're nothing. You were the people we mocked growing up. But collectively, you have altered world history and put the proper power in the proper hands. I want a document drafted stating the proof P equals NP belongs to the four of us. You can have the design for the processor classified if you want, but the proof, as originally promised, is ours. 
Furthermore... I'm not sure where you get off instructing me to the fucking toilet. Furthermore, I want the classified addendum with any reference to our names or applications removed. This is not a negotiation. Well, I suggest you make it one. What is any of that going to do? Hiding it. Now, I, for one, would prefer this technology be licensed to the private sector. But think about it. It's the safest way to avoid what we all fear, which is basically a monopoly, geopolitically, corporately. I don't care. License it to Intel. License it to AMD. Anyone. The new non-deterministic processor will blaze a trail for the next generation of privatized scientific advancement. Think about it. Predicting protein structures is NP complete. It won't happen. What won't? What you're suggesting, it won't happen. Why? It's something we should have seen a long time ago. It's more valuable to them if it's kept a secret. It's better for all of us.